Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be a read from the 16th through the 31st of January already, right? Uh, first uh, first month of the decade, first month of the year uh, and the second half of the month. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome uh, and if you uh, have, are a subscriber, welcome back. All right, thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is do a, a read and this can be a general read. If you'd like a personal read to tap into your own personal energies, then go to theguidedintuitive.com up here or in my description box below, all right? Uh, I do want to uh, mention for many of you that are looking to clear away your blockages and really start this new year off with a, a bang and, and really start clearing things up. Maybe a lot of you haven't quite made your resolutions and, and that's okay because things happen when you want them to happen, okay? So do keep that in mind. So some of you are ready to make things happen and to really set yourself up and you feel like you're in that rhythm and ready to kind of go that next level in that relationship, in your life, uh, you know, in these types of goals that you have or just really live the life that you desire, uh, then uh, I would definitely uh, check out uh, our discovery session up here, okay? Because this is something that allows some one 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 time together to basically see uh, where you're at and then make some recommendations. And uh, of course, if you are a good fit for one of our programs, we'll make a recommendation on that and offer an opportunity to invite you in on that. Uh, but it does depend on your own personal situation, right? And that's one of the reasons why we send, uh, spend a little bit of time together with you. So uh, if you are feel like you're really running into uh, some fear-based uh, energies that are getting in the way of your life, your relationship, maybe it's, you know, guilt, shame, uh, maybe it's just, uh, uh, you know, you know, a pattern that you see happening, then you definitely want to set up that that time to move beyond that, so you can clear the pathways on to actually really propel yourself into this new year. So I'm really excited for you. So do check it out. It's a discovery session up here. It's complimentary, uh, and it allows us some one-on-one -on -one time to work together and see uh, what program would be best, if any, uh, and uh, really get to know a little bit more about you before we do that. Okay, so uh, do check it out. So uh, let's see what is going on this is gonna be you and the other person or you and who right uh, could be the uh, who could be the uh, other side of a situation you know if you're not in a romantic situation uh, or it could be uh, if you are tied then it could be a, a spouse a significant other uh, could be a person of interest uh, but it could even be a friend or family member so do note that okay all right, Taurus, let's see what's coming up for you here, okay? Here is how you view that other person, okay? Sorry about that. I've got a little Persian right here that wants to come out. Well, no, she wants to get down. I just took her for a walk, and she's just she's in that, that little spunky mood. So uh, uh, you might feel that you're in a spunky mood too, Taurus, okay? So she's just uh, jumping all over the place. So if you see her, that's my Bella, all right? All right, she shows up very infrequently, but when she does... It's a good sign. All right. All right. So let's do this. All right. She's really antsy. She's like full of energy right now. So I don't know if that's where you're at, Taurus, or what. It's like you want to get moving. You want to check things out. You want to get going. So I'm going to open the window here for her a little bit so she can look outside. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. She's, there she goes. She just wants to look outside. There you go. All right. She wants to look at the moon. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see what's in store for you. So how you feel about this other person currently right now, okay? Or the other, or this, uh, you know, um, how you feel about this other side of a situation, okay? Here it is. What is it? Ooh, a good sign, guys. We've got lovers, okay? So your current situation, how you view this other person right now is you consider them to be a lover, all right? You really consider them to be a, a really good match. This is a this is actually a major arcana spread, so this is really nice. It's a major arcana card, I should say. And this is about just really being, um, the universe is blessing this situation. You really feel that, they're, uh, that they are a, a strong connection for you. Uh, this is, you know, just, you know, quite frankly, it's, it's just, you know, it's about love. It is about, you know, uh, being united, right? Uh, you know, coming together, being in unity of some sort. So this is quite beautiful. I like that. So how you view this other person is you see them as being your lover. All right. So let me pull a little bit more on this a bit here. Ooh, you feel that they have a part of your heart and soul. This is so gorgeous. So you feel like there's a heart and soul connection in this. You know, like I said, like divinely guided, the light is really on this. The angel blessing is upon this. And you really feel that they are part of your heart and soul. 
And, and this is beautiful because what this tells me is that this is what she just jumped off. Sorry about that. That's why you hear the little shaking in the camera. She's jumping off. Okay. So this is saying that you are, you are blessed right now in this love situation. Okay. Um, you are really, really blessed right now. And that's what this is talking about. You can see the heart is being highlighted, but this is saying is that, you know, that you are blessed and guided by that spirit of love at this particular time. There's a lot of red in here. So it's really grounded and you know it's very passionate as well um, and this is just saying that there is a transformation that is occurring maybe perhaps in this relationship or perhaps just within you but I think how you view you and this other person how you view them you feel that there's a transformation that's taking place in this moment okay so note your comments below if that is the case but that's what I see here okay and this is saying is that it really wants you to uh, close your eyes and, and really uh, know that everything is unfolding exactly how it should. So whatever is happening in this relationship or in the situation, just know that it is all happening and unfolding the way it's supposed to. Okay, so if you're questioning about it, this is actually proof of that. This is saying is that it also is, um, you know, a need for you to not be concerned about things okay uh and 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 to to really in this relationship what you what you need to do um and 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 how you view them is you definitely need to um hold on one second just hold on one second Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so this is so interesting. Um, my roommate has a dog and the dog just busted through the door. And you know, between that and my little Bella, I mean, there is a lot of activity and they all want attention. This is so interesting. So um, I don't know if that has to do with anyone. <laughs> It's like they want to just rush them and do things. And I think that the, the, the message here is to, to slow down and just let things unfold as they should. So typically the dog stays outside, you know, a little bit. No, not outside, outside, but just outside my door when I record. And I just am letting it unfold as it should. And she's going to stay right here. Okay. <laughs> so in any event, so that is just a, a uh, you know, just probably a signal and, uh, you know, some sort of sign in terms of, you know, letting things unfold naturally and just trust all will be well okay and in this relationship in this situation so how you view this person and that's what's coming into play so uh, i am going to pull one more card i want to see what else wants to come through for this um how you feel about this person right now lovers heart and soul can it oh my gosh you guys i'm just gonna say can it get any better so we get the Ten of Pentacles, right? This is amazing, guys. I don't know. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to see this. So you really feel them as being a very long-term partner. Well, security, everything here. This is so beautiful. It's good to be a Taurus right now. And this is saying that, I mean, whatever is happening, this is so beautiful. It's coming. It's already, you know, at completion. This is happy family life. This is well security. Um, you know, this is just all about that. You know, wealth, establishment, uh, everything here. So you view them as almost like, you know, being kind of like, uh, the one, so to speak, is what I'm, what I'm hearing. Um, now let's take a look at how this other person views you. Okay. So let's take a look at that and what that looks like, how your other person views you. Here it is. Wow. So they are looking for, they, they view as, as some sort of enlightenment and you give them perspective. Okay. So I get the hermit card and this is going in introspectively and they're really looking at things and shedding the light on that of which is hidden in them. So maybe you bring out things that are hidden within them, right? And you allow them to see things at a different perspective. Could be that is the case. I am going to pull another one of the cards here and see what wants to come through. How this other person or this other side views you. Okay. So let's take a look. Oh, clarifying that, what does that look like? Ooh, okay. So interesting. So the card that we get for this one is called Sophia. Remember I talked about, you know, let things kind of unfold and bloom as they should. Well, I get the Sophia card on this other person's side. And what's interesting is that this, this card is, you know, it has that real beautiful pink color and and it's interesting because I think that you allow them to bloom. You allow them to grow. 
and uh, it, 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 they feel that, that you need their support right now um, because what this card indicates when this comes up that someone needs your love and support right now at this particular moment and so that's what this case and it could be forgiveness in a relationship or in a situation but that's what seems to come up here okay um, and this card just signifies yes uh, because deep down within the folds you both have layers of love and you love each other and deep down that this person knows that and um, yeah so just to say that maybe there is in this relationship I don't know for some of you if there has been some a timeout or some sort of introspection uh, could be the case but this is saying too is that uh, you know that uh, that that life is short right now and you know really just focus on how to deal with things fairly and do it within love and then do it within kindness and and because you both know that you love each other okay so how they view you is is uh maybe there is some time taken out on this side uh in terms of uh you know uh, of, of looking at things a little deeper okay i'm gonna pull one more card on this one to see how they view you Page of Wands. So there is there a new opportunity for things to grow again? Um, so this could be very much the case. I don't know if they're an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or carry that fire type energy. But this is like almost as if going within, let you know, both love each other, and this is new beginning of energy. So that's what I feel on this side. So how interesting. Let's take a look at what your needs are, okay? Let's take a look, uh, Torso, what your needs are. Let's see what that is. Okay, here it is. Your needs. Wow, I think you're you, you're you're kind of um, trying to get clear exactly what those needs are. This is good. This is really really good. Sometimes you need that time for it to kind of uh, settle in and understand where you're at. So this is saying is that right now you kind of feel like you're at the moon card. That maybe perhaps some things are you know perhaps could be hidden at this time. So I, it could much very much well be the case. It's a major arcana card, but I feel still feel that there is, you know, perhaps some emotions that are still buried in the water because uh, you've got the crab that's a little bit more in the ocean, but it's looking to crawl up into the path. But then you've got the wolf, and you know, which is a little bit of a loner, and then the loyalty of the dog. And they're both looking up at the moon to kind of give them a signal as to how to move forward. So they're looking at that and they want to go through, you know, the, uh, the two pillars here to get through, you know, to go to that next step. But some things are hidden, so they're kind of holding off before they move around this path so there's something that perhaps is hidden in this relationship or situation on this path so your needs is that you're you want to get the clarity okay some things are kind of um, missing a little bit okay let's take a look at what this uh, is and clarify the moon card Wow guys yo turn up the heater we get uh, serendipity how interesting so I think Jim and I got this as well and this is about that there is going to be something that is going to be life changing, that there's going to be some sort of certain event that is going to be a surprise to you. Okay. It's almost as if it's, it's kind of divinely guided. It could be something that you've manifested quite frankly, but it's going to be kind of have this serendipitous kind of a, a flavor to it. Okay. And it's going to be unexpected. Okay. And, um, but it, it could be something that just illuminates you and is going to be incredibly life changing. Okay. And I want you to know that and be aware of that. So whatever it is, there's going to be some sort of surprise element that's attached to this. So your needs are that you, I think that you're, you're manifesting and you want something, something to take place here, right? And um, of things that are hidden, you want them to come out and things to kind of look like this. Uh, I'm going to pull one more card and see what else wants to come through your needs, anything else wow so your needs is to have a brand new opportunity okay i really feel that this is you that you're moving forward slowly uh with an offer okay and for some of you okay that could be the case for some of you now someone could be moving into you but i really feel that you're moving slowly and you know as you move forward here and um the knights have to deal with motion and when it comes about you know, the pentacles, this is someone that's very routine oriented, very efficient. So I kind of feel that um, uh, you're kind of taking things slow, you know, maybe after this particular insight, right? And then coming forth. So in some way, shape or form is what I see. Now, let me move to this other person's needs on this side. Okay. And see what that is. Let's see what that is. What is this other person's needs on this side? Let's see what that is. Wow, this is so interesting. I swear to you, I shuffled this card deck 
so many times, I get saint and sinner, okay? And uh, what this is talking about, and the reason I say this, because Gemini got this too, I believe. Saint and sinner is talking about um, their needs is that um, they might see a quality in you that uh, may, uh, you know, that they really, really like or that they, 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 or they don't like in some way, okay? But what they're realizing is that it comes with the package just like them. So this is about saint and sinners, that we all have that in us, right? Just, you know, as the law of, of, of opposites, right? We've got uh, day and night, uh, you know, we've got uh, uh, happiness and sadness and things like that. So what this is talking about is that uh, which one do you want to lead with? And so this person is is coming to recognize whatever they like or dislike in another, that they have those same qualities within them. And so now they're looking within to become whole so they could, so they could see themselves as whole and communicate that, you know, how they want to lead forward. So it looks like that, you know, maybe there has, um, they're using a different perception and looking at themselves. Blue is all about the heart, the, the throat chakra. Throat chakra, all forms of communication, you know, email, written, you know, uh, verbal, uh, whatever that is, uh, nonverbal. But this is saying is that maybe there had been some sadness in terms of their needs with you and un being unable to communicate that perhaps. Uh, so that's what's coming through for me here, okay? But they're trying to get perception of that and and uh, getting clear that, that you know that of their shadow side and their light side and just getting clear of how they want to lead and move forward in their life, okay? This is interesting, so quite interesting. Um, but I really feel there's been a lot of growth there, right? Um, well, let's just see what else. I want to see what else wants to come through. Uh, if I clarify this, what your lover needs, what is that? A new beginning. They want a new beginning. Gosh, it's so funny because, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's funny. They just, you've got the page of wands on this side on how they viewed you as a new beginning and uh, they want a new beginning. And then I get the ace of wands here on what they need is a new beginning, a new opportunity with you. Okay. Again, could be dealing, it's another wand, so it could be dealing with it, you know, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, but this is uh, from the universe, a brand new beginning. So what is the current state of the relationship? Let's take a look at what the current state of the relationship is. What is that? Current state of the relationship. What is it? Here it is. Transformation. Okay, so there's some sort of transformation. I really feel this person is going through a transformation, you know, here for sure. There's no doubt about that. And you could be on both sides, but, you know, the current state of the relationship is that it is in transformation. And this is beautiful if we accept that we're always in transformation, right? We're just always there. But this is significant, okay? So that's what this is talking about. It's a significant uh, kind of transformation at this particular time. And uh, let's see if anything wants to clarify that a little bit. Yeah, achievement. So this is about achieving a transformation in this relationship or in this situation and this is saying just you know keep focused on that transformation keep focused on the dream on your manifestations on what it is that you want uh, you know, a lot of flowers are blooming in this read. So this is uh, just, you know, coming to say that in transformation, that you're going to achieve that transformation state in this relationship. Okay. So that's what's coming forward. Let's take a look at the path that you'd like this relationship to follow. Okay. And this will be for you. The path that you'd like this relationship to follow. And what is that? Let's take a look at that. Okay. The path that you'd like this relationship to follow. What does that look like? Let's take a look. What does that look like for Taurus? Here it is. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, purgatory. Okay, so here's what this card is. And, and don't be scared of this card because it's actually a really darn, darn good card. This is talking about, you know, it's like whatever came together, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's whatever came together had some sort of combustion. And then it just kind of, um, it kind of, blew up into pieces to which it healed both of you. And so when I say transformation is what some, whatever has brought this light that turned this into these beautiful colors of the rainbow was so necessary for this achievement in transformation, which is the current state of the relationship is what the cards are saying. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here. So it actually ended up healing both of you in some way. So this is uh, actually the path that you uh, would like your relationship to follow is that you would like to have healing and come together, okay? And um, that's exactly what I see here. This is about ridding of all the things that didn't work, you know, getting rid of the fear, guilt, shame, whatever that is that might be holding the situation or the relationship back. 
Um, so it's like something had to happen on one side or another uh, for it to kind of, you know, um, and there's some sort of insight that had been gained from this that helps both sides, right? So when one has a different shift in a dynamic, you know, and then it changes the full dynamic of the relationship, okay? So it doesn't matter what side it's on. When change is made, then, you know, that's what happens. So I'm going to clarify this with the tarot and see what wants to come up for this on the path that you would like uh, the relationship to follow. Wow. The path, you don't want to be left out in the cold anymore, okay? You do not want to be left out in the cold anymore, okay? It's the fives, and, and fives are all about adversity, so maybe there was some sort of adversity, like I mentioned, in this relationship or situation. Let's clarify that again. But this is saying you've got the strength, right? And that can overpower this purgatory card. It, it truly does. So this is interesting. But you've got the strength in the, um, you know, to be able to move through this. This is calling on that Leo type energy. You might have Leo in your chart. Um, but this is saying you've got the strength to push right through this. I'm Wow. And right to clarify the strength. And this is saying you've got the resources too. So take action action take action okay so the path that you would like to follow is to continue to you know to have the strength to move forward you've got all the resources to make it happen to move forward because i clarified the strength and i got the magician and the magician is having all the resources but also being able to take action to make it happen so you have to actually use those resources by taking action in this relationship or situation. So you'd like the you'd like the relationship to to move forward. Okay, now to move forward. Interesting. What is the path that you'd like this other person? Uh, what path would your uh, uh, lover like this relationship to follow? Let's see what that is. Here it is. Wow, they want to move forward with passion, okay? I mean, really, really fast, okay? So this is about slowing them down a little bit. They want to move forward with passion. There's no doubt about it. You've got them on, the nights are all, uh, the nights are all about, you know, the emotion. And this is a very romantic and charming, uh, you know, uh, guy on this, on the horse. Could be dealing with a, uh, an Aries, uh, um, uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy. So that's what comes up here. Let's see what else wants to come out and we clarify that. The path that they'd like it to follow. They want to move forward with passion, okay? They do. Okay, let's see what else. Wow, they want to co-create with you. This is gorgeous, guys. They're definitely looking to co-create. So this is really great. This is about transformation. There's a lot of butterflies that are in there as well. So it's really talking about transformation and co-creation. In, you know, in love, you know, coming together, two sides of the heart here. So this is really about um, about true co-creation, -co right? And uh, this tells me that right now that, uh, you know, perhaps there's a there's some sort of transformation that is taking place at this moment. And there's a new opportunity that's going to present itself over the next coming weeks. Okay, so I do want you to remember that there is a new opportunity at hand. Um, and it, it might feel like it's beyond your reach or beyond your means. Now, it could be a financial opportunity for some of you. Okay, so if you're not uh, relationship ridden, this is all this is also talking about um, a financial opportunity or and um, that you feel that is beyond your reach, beyond your um, expertise, anything of the sort, but that's what this is talking about. Okay, so um, but see yourself in, in spiritual partnership you know, with this uh, person, uh, with this situation, uh, and just really focus on success and your commitment to that, because this is saying is that you can actually, uh, uh, you are just, uh, you're going to be provided with everything that you need in this process in terms of co-creation and on this. So I really think it's quite beautiful. Okay. Really, really beautiful. Wow. How gorgeous. This is really great. Yeah, so uh, that's exactly what we say. Let's take a look at what the outcome on is of this relationship or situation. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Ooh, okay, so interesting. I'm going to pull one more card because I want to clarify this and I'll show you both of them, guys. How interesting. Wow. So this is interesting because I almost feel like um, the outcome of this, the, situ the relationship, we get the devil card and then we get the uh, six of cups. So the devil card is really telling you feel like uh, the outcome is 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 being in bondage with someone. And, you know, what you want this is that I, I think it's like you don't want to be in bondage with someone. Because when I clarify that, what you're looking for is this newfound love, this young love. It could be maybe that you don't want to feel in bondage with your past. OK, now it could be a way of thinking. 
it could be maybe of what you know instigated this combustion and this is saying is that uh you know right now is that you do not want to be tied to anything from the past perhaps uh, you know, or the way things were in the past or a way of thinking in the past. Okay. So you guys would know what that is, but that's quite interesting. Yeah. Is that, uh, that that's what's coming into play. Anything else that wants to come through as the final card here? What would this be, uh, to kind of clarify these two? What else? Wow. Yeah. This is like out with the old, out of bondage and you don't want it, the past and it's your ascending. This is about ascension. This is about moving and then going to that next level up in that relationship or situation. I think it's about leaving the past behind because this transformation that you're going through, it, it, the cards say that you're going to go through a deep you know, achievement in this. Um, so the ascension is really beautiful. Any final words on this in terms of ascension? Oh gosh, you guys, check this out. This deck of cards gives you ascension and I pulled out another deck of cards and you got liberation. Look at how similar these cards are, right? You are rising. You are rising and rising. You're going to be liberated. You are out of bondage. Um, I think you are completely out of this, whatever that has happened here before. Quite frankly, Taurus, this is so beautiful for you. Gosh, this is double whammy, okay? So if you're questioning whether this is going to go to a next level, whether you, it's going to ascend, I'm saying that it is, but you are ascending. You are transforming. This situation is being transformed, right? Um, quite quite beautiful guys gorgeous read i love it and um i hope that this resonated with you in some way shape or form uh, please let me know definitely in your comments below i would definitely love to know but just know that uh you know that you are unstoppable okay i want you to remember that because this is so this is so beautiful and uh you know just know that uh that, uh, that, you know, you deserve to feel strong and that, you know, I'm, you're free of self doubt and know that I've got this. Okay. So note your comments below. I've got this. Okay. I do want you to remember that because it sets it in your vibration and that's going to be really, really key for you. Okay. Uh, and I'm unstoppable. Okay. So do remember that. All right. So note your comments below. Put it in, put it into your vibration, get it out there that just, you know, really, uh, you know, uh, re and it kind of emphasizes that within you. But I really see good things in this situation. You are ascending and uh, it is, there's, there's, you are unstoppable. So uh, there you have it. So lots of love. I look forward to seeing you in February. And until then, namaste.